<laughs> yeah! Look how stable this is, even though I'm jiggling.
What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Keto Rewind and I'm Jess. I hope you enjoyed my, I guess they call it a vlog. <laughs> but if you didn't notice, we went to, um, or if you couldn't tell from the video, we went to Great Wolf Lodge in Grapevine, Texas for a couple of days. And it was also Mother's Day weekend. So it was a great time to have a little mini getaway and um, celebrate my victory of losing 50 pounds in 12 weeks. So all of that fun did come at a cost because I, I figured that since I had lost 50 pounds, I could live a little for like four days <laughs> and go off plan. So I consciously made the decision to um, not stay keto. And, I, and one of the reasoning was I wanted to show you that you can go off plan and then get back on it. I think one of the reasons I failed in the past with my yo-yo dieting was because I never knew how to pump the brakes. So I would like do really well and then, you know, I'd go off plan for whatever reason and I would never get back on it. I wouldn't know how to get back on it. So that's kind of where I'm going, getting at with this video. So um, basically that's in a nutshell. <laughs> Um, the the focus of this video. So I'm gonna make a, I'm switching to 16-8 fasting window so that I can show you exactly what I'm eating. Um, I was doing a 23-1 fasting window, which is basically just having dinner. So, but because I want to transition, because my kids are gonna be home in like two weeks from school for the summer, so I'm gonna have them around me all the time and I don't really wanna do so much fasting in front of them. It's just it's just a little harder. So I'm gonna go back to 16-8, which is basically lunch and dinner. So I'm gonna log all my food in my food diary and if I will post the link below to my fitness pal if you wanna follow along. But I wanted to show you exactly how I'm gonna like pump the brakes and get back on keto because it was, I mean, I really went off plan. I I would, I'm gonna guess I've probably put on five pounds. And yeah, a lot of that's bloat because, you know, I ate foods that were not keto, you know, inflammatory foods like sugar, you know, wheat, um, you know, stuff like that. So like I had two margaritas, we had donuts, we had french fries, we just, we had fun. So, um, and for four days, I didn't have my every thought in my head keto. So, but it's okay because overall it's going to help me learn how to do this in life because I will always be keto, but there will be times where I'm going to take vacations or something, life's going to get in the way and I'm going to go off plan. Um, but the point, the difference is I'm going to get back to keto and, um, and where before I would not, and I just give up. So that's kind of like where this whole, my thought process is, because this is a new thing. This is completely like not my cup of tea. And that's now, now going to be something that is the new me. So, um, I'm going to make a video showing everything I ate this week. And that will be, I'll probably post that like on Friday or maybe I'll get a couple days worth and then post it. But this way you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, fasting is the best way to get back in ketosis. Going for an, like an exercise is another great way because you want to purge all that food that's in your gut, if you will. <laughs> so, um, and then drinking lots of water and stuff like just flushing the system. So I'll be in ketosis again in a couple of days, but um, I'm not going to sweat it because again, I did so well for 12 weeks that I lost 50 pounds. I can afford, you know, a little bit of grace, if you will. So I'm not going to be hard on myself. I'm not going to be mad. Instead, I'm going to tell you about the cool parts about going on vacation after a 50 pound weight loss. So, well, one minor setback. <laughs> I'm wearing glasses today because um, we went to Great Wolf Lodge and the facility there or the hotel there was super clean. Our location here in Texas is was recently renovated. Our room was spick and span. The, the, the pools were clean, you know, but there's still dirty people out there. So if you're one of those people that brings the plague to um, places like that, you're on my shit list. <laughs> but so I have pink eye in both my eyes. Yeah. Um, and so as soon as I got back from Great Wolf Lodge, I had to go to the doctor, get eye drops, the whole nine yards. So that is like such a pain in the butt. So if you're one of those people that just drags your kids or people around, I am totally... <laughs> 
I hate you. So, um, but I can't fault Great Wolf Lodge because it was super clean. The staff was friendly. Everything was like cool. But the people are still dirty. And I'm sure I picked this up at the, at the arcade or something because there was enough chlorine in the pool that it would kill <laughs> anything on you. But you can't, there's still many other places in the, the, um, in the hotel to do like, you know, the arcade, the, the, you know, the whole first floor of fun, basically. So I must have touched something somewhere and I wear contacts and touch my eyes. So, so what a pain in the butt, but whatever. It's pink eye. It's not the end of the world, but just so you, FYI, those people that bring the plague, ooh, <laughs> I don't like you. So but anyways, back on topic, um. So that's why I'm wearing glasses, by the way. <laughs> so, um, but the overall, the room was super nice. Um, we stayed in like, I guess they call those like a, it's a condo or a suite or I don't know, but there was, um, one and a half bathrooms, which is really awesome. When you have kids, I swear they have to go to the bathroom at the same time. Um, so it was nice to have a second bathroom in a hotel room. Um, and the overall, you can so eat keto at Great Wolf Lodge because they have a, huge buffet with a massive salad bar so much like great choices that and they have something for everybody so totally awesome place i just didn't follow plan <laughs> we actually went out for mexican so i had uh, margaritas and fajitas so but it was worth it <laughs> and then not to mention alcohol in general so but it was vacation no big deal i'm not gonna sweat it and today i'm back on it so um, but anyways, I wanted to give you a quick, like, reasoning why there's no pictures this week. Um, um, and obviously with Mother's Day, we went out, we had, you know, Mother's Day brunch, we had lots of other stuff, so it just accumulated on top of already bad choices. So the past four days, definitely I did not eat keto, but today I'm back on it. So, and this is how I'm going to do it. So, um... Check back, watch the rest of the videos this week. You'll see all the foods I'm eating. I'm gonna be a little bit more strict on logging all of my food in the food diary. And if you wanna read that, I'll, look, I'll put the link below and then you can see exactly what foods I'm eating. But I also wanted to say, if you were thinking about starting keto, restart with me. If you maybe fell off plan and you know now's the time, jump back on it with me, do this with me. So, um, oh, and then one other fun thing I wanted to say, a non-scale victory. After losing 50 pounds in 12 weeks, I was, I, I had to go shopping for a bathing suit, right? So I didn't have time to go shop and, you know, I'm crazy busy. We, we put, we booked this trip kind of like in a, just a spontaneous, <laughs> you know, so we didn't really have like lots of planning and all this that would involve. So obviously all my bathing suits from last summer definitely don't fit me. And you can see a comparison picture here. Last summer, I was uh, my bottoms were 22. This look at the difference between the bottoms from last summer and today's or this week's bottoms were their size extra large or 16. So that's a huge difference in the size of the bathing suit bottoms. And mind you, those 22s were piss tight. So it was nice to be able to wear an extra large bathing suit. And I have worked really hard on my body. So I found a bathing suit that was very modest. It, it flattered me. I didn't, you know, at my, my overall like confidence, I felt like I was just rocking the bathing suit. So I'm going to post the link below this particular bathing suit. I was nervous ordering it because I figured it was probably Chinese sizing, which runs a lot smaller <laughs> than us sizing because I purchased those before and yeah, it didn't get past my knees. So, but this one was true us sizing. Um, and it fit perfect. So I'm wearing the extra large here that comes in like 18 other colors. So I bought like two other colors <laughs> right away because I love the bathing suit so much. But the best part is I got six compliments on my bathing suit. Even in my thin days, I never got that many compliments ever wearing a bathing suit. So it was really, I mean, this is, this was people asking me that were uh, normal weights, asking me where I got my bathing suit plus size ladies asking me where I got my bathing suit. One lady even, I let her look, I didn't know what brand my bathing suit was. And I, she's like pulling my, my bathing suit out and to see if, what my, the brand was. And it's, um, I'll post all those links below. I didn't, I didn't, rem I didn't remember what the brand was, but it was so funny cause she had no problem going like pulling my bathing suit out in my back to find the tag. 
So, but either way, I felt so confident in it. It was modest, it covered everything. I could rock a two piece without looking like a big greasy fat hog. <laughs> what I normally feel like when I'm wearing a bathing suit. So totally, if you need a bathing suit this summer and you want something that's really flattering, you've got to try this bathing suit. So I'm putting the link below, click that one and order it. It, um, you will not regret it, trust me. And it was like 28 bucks. With, like shipped <laughs> so I mean I don't even think Walmart had them that cheap that were that nice but oh anyways getting back on topic it felt so awesome to people to random strangers to come up and tell me they loved my bathing suit you know and mind you I'm 259 pounds like people are complimenting my bathing suit it doesn't even make sense but they did and like my husband was laughing by the time we left I'm like honey it was my sixth compliment you know <laughs> but I mean, he witnessed, it's like, it's, it was crazy. So it put a smile ear to ear in my face. And I hope it, it makes all of the hard work that I put in worth it. So that's, uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoy this video. Check out Great Wolf Lodge. Um, I had, we had so much fun. This was like our second or third time there. Um, it's not too far from our house. So we go often and our kids love it. And the kids are like passed out <laughs> by like dinner time. So you get the evening to yourself with your husband. So, um, or significant other. Um, so totally, uh, highly recommend it. And plus uh, one other thing, please, 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 please teach your kids how to swim. There were so many kids there that were not able to swim and it made me so sad. My girls are three and or, I'm sorry, three and almost four and five. And they've been swimming for like a year now without floaties and all that stuff. Like, it's so important. Get, get your kids swim lessons. Teach them how to swim. It's a life skill. Please, please, please. It was really disturbing to see how many kids could not swim. And they were like seven and eight year olds, you know. That's way too old. You've got to know how to swim. So, um, but anyways, sorry, I had to rant about that. Um, but have a great day and I'll see you. Stay tuned for all those next videos. Like what am I, what am I eating style videos that are coming up? So it's going to be a great week. So come on, join me on the keto bandwagon and <laughs> get your key, keto rewind on and I'll see you later. Bye.